OK, we can make her happy because today it's a Kiwi classic, a mince and cheese pie. I think even Mel's going to love this oh, one today. Oh, I even love Mel. a good mince and cheese pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I think it's safe to say, I think it's one of the nation's favourite um, yes. pies, actually. And it probably, probably won the national pie contest. Uh, what, one, one year anyway, definitely. Yeah, and we go, apparently in New Zealand we go through about 60 million pies a year, which is a lot of pies. Yeah, that's like 15 <laughs> each, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Every person eats 15 pies a year, which I doesn't think, sound that like. No, because I think I'd do eat? more, probably 30. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> Well, that's it. And that, so we're, you know, everyone's had this. You know, you can buy mm. it in the shops, you buy it in the pie shops. Um, but now you can make this at home, and we're going to go through the stages of making the mix, building the pies, baking them, and then even eating them at the end of the show. Yes, we're looking forward to that. So make sure you make enough for everyone here, though, Mark, because I'm sure they're going to be very popular. It is a great day in the Beko kitchen. As <laughs> Mark, it is pie time. The Kiwi classic, the humble mince and cheese pie. So how are we going to chefify this? We're not. We're not. We're not. We're just making a mince and cheese pie. Sometimes we, we don't need to chef pie things, well, you know. I'm seeing good. carrots, so I see I see oh, there's a little bit of a twist. All right, yeah, we've got we've got a few vegetables in there. Nice. But just carrots, a little bit of celery, yes. onions. Yes. Um, no peas though. Okay, cool. And do you, you know, when you're choosing a mince and cheese pie, is it all mm -hmm. in the cheese or is it all in Oh mince? no, it's gotta be the filling. It's gotta be the filling. You okay. know, it needs it needs to uh, you know have lots of meat in there. Yeah. Have lots of taste in there. Yeah. Nice bit of texture from the vegetables. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, obviously, I mean cheese is the other part of it, you know, it has to have a, a really nice cheese. So we've got a nice cheddar cheese there. Beautiful. Right. So we've got a pan on here, a yep. bit of oil, yep, cool. and you can start browning the uh, mince off. So okay, just cool. have some beef mince there. Yep. But this would be great as well with venison. This would be really nice. Oh, yeah, because venison's quite mm. lean for you, isn't it? That's the beauty about making your own mince and cheese pie. I guess you get to control what's going in it. Well, you get to control what's going in it, and you also, yeah, you know exactly what's in it, and then you can tweak your flavours. Because sometimes you do buy those pies, you know, the servo or something when you. Been been three in late. the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and you think, is there anything? We've in all this? been there. <laughs> is there. Is there anything? Always blow on the pie. Uh, it's just no filling. So you're right. It all is in the filling, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. And the pastry as well. You know. Okay. So you, uh, you know, you can make your own pastry. You can make different types of pastry. Um, but we're just going to use puff pastry now. Um, and then it's really easy because you just go to the supermarket. You can even buy it pre-rolled as well. So it just speeds up the whole process. But if you want, you know, if you're a pie connoisseur, if you want, you know, get a recipe for a really good uh, pie pastry and uh, make it yourself. Good work. All right, so you're just going to, you're going to fry this on a high heat. Get yep. a nice colour on the mince. Yep. And then give it a good season as well. Some salt and pepper. So always season as you go. So I've got all my uh, vegetables there, chopped there. Got a little bit of garlic as well. We're going to add the vegetables in and we're going to keep cooking that down. And then ideally you want to do this a little bit uh, in advance. So we make the pie mix. Yeah. Um, and then cook it out, get all that flavour into it and then you want to cool it down before we build the pies. Why is that? Well, because you've got a puff pastry. Yeah. So well, pretty much any time you uh, cook with pastry you want to keep it nice and cold. So straight out of the fridge, get it pliable then roll it out. If it's too hot, it's just, you know, all the butter is going to come out, you know, oh, and it's going to go really, it's, it's going to go soggy, it's going to go really hard. And could you get a soggy bottom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, mate. I think it's a technical term, isn't it? <laughs> right, so vegetables go in there. So you're just going to cook those down a little bit, release the flavours. We don't want to cook it down too much because you still want to uh, have that nice sort of texture of the vegetables in there. Okay, good. So we've got a bit of celery and carrot yeah, in there. Yeah, a little bit of celery and carrot. I mean, look at that. That's great. And it there's does. no peas in sight. I've got a thing about putting peas in everything. Really? Not allowed oh, to put peas, peas in pies. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's hurt. He's ruined it. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. No, okay. Right, I'm quite so, fond of the old. No. No. Okay. Right. So. No. Bit of tomato paste in there. Yep. You know, it just gives you a bit more flavour. A little bit of Dijon mustard as well. Oh, okay. You know. So these are ingredients where you don't really think about putting in the pies, but these are going to give you some really good flavour in there. Thank you for the tip. A little bit of soy sauce as well. Okay. And this filling is smelling amazing. Some uh, Worcestershire sauce as well. Beautiful. And mm. then what we're going to do, in fact, a little bit of flour in here. Okay, does that help just keep yeah. it together? So just a, just a touch, and then do that on the meat as you brown in the meat so it all dissolves into it before okay. you put the stock in and you won't get any lumps in there. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. And then I've just got some uh, beef stock. i mix it enough for you, Chef. Yeah, no, that's good. Oops. So, a bit, uh, bit of beef stock in there. And now you want to cook this out. Always okay. taste it, give it a really good season as well. And then uh, once you're happy, Cool it down and then you're ready for the next stage. But this will probably take about sort of you know 15, 20 minutes, so it is quite fast. Okay, cool. Can you pass me a little teaspoon? Because I want to try I want to try some of this <laughs> to see how it's going. 
Does it need more seasoning? That's well, I mean, it's not really going to taste much at the moment. Mm. It'll start being there, but once you cook it out, you're going to get a lot more flavour in there. No, nope, that's tasting pretty good to me. Can't wait. Okay. We've got the filling sorted. Next, we're going to start building the pies. That is straight after we catch up with Holly. Okay, back in the Beko kitchen, we're making mince and cheese pies for Friday. This is brilliant. <laughs> uh, so, our mince here, it's, I think it's looking pretty good. No, it's really good. So Should you, I taste it? Yeah, you can taste it. Mm -hmm. So you can see the stock sort of thickened, it's reduced around it. You know, you don't want it too wet, but you want it moist. And you want lots of flavour in there. Okay, so, so you've actually got to cook it out though. Can't. Yeah, you, you want to cook it out and it'll, you will increase all those flavours and, and, and it will be mm. nice and... So it's nice and juicy, mm -hmm. but it's it's not wet, wet. it's not dripping okay, wet. Cool. You know, and there's a, there's, a, there's a tip for you. Otherwise you will get a soggy bottom. A soggy, soggy bottom. Right. Pie tins, so you can make one big one, individual ones, any shape you want, it's entirely up to you. So I've just got some puff pastry, I've just sprayed it lightly. Okay. And then what you want to do is sort of pop it in, put a little bit of flour on your fingers, and then just get it in there, just be gentle, and just sort of push it, mould it around the sides. Oh, that's the Thagoras so the theory, isn't it? The... Thagoras? Pythagoras? <laughs> it's a math lesson. <laughs> I'm doing bad dad <laughs> jokes, sorry. <laughs> it's school holidays. <laughs> I, I thought all morning, what's the way I can get a Pythagoras joke in there? It didn't work, but never mind. Oh, the whole control room's groaning at me now. Anyway, you've got pies, behave yourselves. One for me, one for Liz. Right, that's what we're going to do. So, so, you know, and you want to work quite fast as well because, you know, you don't want the pastry to warm okay, up too, cool. uh, too, too much, really. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's, it makes it really hard. Right, you start filling these. Right, I'm just going to wash my spoon because I... All right, does it, we can have another spoon. Before. All right, cool. There you go. All right, okay. so pop them in. And how full do you want them? How, how full? <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit more. You know, be quite generous, but leave a little space for the cheese. Cheese, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So is that right. about right, you reckon? That yeah, one good? or a little bit less. A little bit less. A little bit less. Okay, cool. Yeah, so maybe take a little bit out, because we, by the time, we want to put the cheese on, and then it wants to be sort of like, you know, just coming up to the level. And then okay. we remi remember as well, we're going to put a lid on there as well. So. Okay, cool. Excuse the fingers. And if you leave a, if you leave a little bit of extra pla uh, space, you know, you can get a slice of cheese, and you can give two little bits, which is really good. Okay, cool. So pack that in, so be quite generous. Okay, cool. So you want it all sort of be not overflowing, just leave yeah, a lot of time you've got but your you, cheese. But you want to be generous because there's nothing worse than like biting into a pie and not having enough filling. Yes. You know, we, we don't like that. Okay. Right, and then we're going to cut some more discs for the lids. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a little bit of egg wash here, right? So this is just uh, just the yolk part of the um, egg. Okay. And then what we want to do is just pop it on there. And this is going to help stick and bind the pastries together. Nice. All right, so we get our round bit. Yeah. And then pop it on. And then just you want to... pinch it? Yeah. Pinch, just pinch it together. It together okay. Crimp it all together. Yes. You know, and then you're going to get this nice little lip as well, which looks quite cool. Mm, yeah. But you are crimping and securing those two bits of pastry together, you know, it's all going to cook together. And then importantly, have a couple of little holes in the top right. just to release some of the steam, you know, okay. so it doesn't it sort of like come up and explode. Okay. Right. And do, do you put different marks on for mince and cheese? Is it three marks for mince and cheese, four for potato top, you know? Is that how they do it? Yeah. So I'm yeah, always yeah, at the bakery no, and I'm like, how do they know which pie is which? Oh, it's all about that. It's all secrets. You can Google oh. it, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Then... I'll, I'll try that. <laughs> okay. Secret baking code. Oh, right, this is good. So, so cheddar cheese, a pie mixture, and of course, if you didn't catch it earlier, there are a few little tips with the filling then, that you need to look do. Look at this. And then you can, you know, you can have <gasps> a play around with it. But what you do is you put a letter on there, and that means that's Mark's. Oh, I thought it meant Mike's, but then maybe it means <laughs> Mel's. <Yeah. laughs> or it could mean mince and cheese. Oh no, great fun for the kids too. They could, you know, you could help them with the bases, and they can just cut out from the pastry what they want. Yeah, we've got one for Jesse as well. Oh, one for Jesse. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, sorry, sorry Jesse, you missed out. Oh, Holly's Again. didn't work as well. Oh. More for Mike and Mark and Mel. <laughs> just the empires. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, cool. And how long do we put them in the oven for? Right, so we're going to uh, pop them in the oven. So a really hot oven, about 180, 190 degrees uh, fan oven. Pop them in, probably about 15, 20 minutes, they'll nice golden brown. Let them cool down slightly in the uh, container. Tip them out onto a wire rack, mm. and, and then you'll get a nice crusty uh, pipe. Alrighty, you go and put them in the oven, and I'll eat them with you very soon, <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> okay. okay. Pies! So we're going to love his pies! Look at this! <laughs> They look delicious. Look at this, man. I made that especially for you. Oh, oh it's got a little limb on it. Thank you.